What is up YouTube? Uh, today I wanted to show you a uh, useful little thing, like tip, to uh, fix laptops. Uh, this right here is an HP 630. Uh, you can't really see it. HP 630. And these things, if you don't know, are very notorious for having an overheat issue regardless if it's a uh, windows or linux is in my case um so basically the story with this laptop is uh, it's my sister's and she bought a macbook because this thing would die all the time like the uh all of a sudden the screen would glitch out and then the fans would rev up and then it would just shut down and then when you restarted it it would say that there's um over temp error so uh basically the way I thought I could fix it before. Um, I used it for a while because I, I took out her hard drive, which had Windows, and I put in um, a blank hard drive and I installed Linux. And the uh, the problem stopped and then it came back for a while because the, the laptop wasn't used for like maybe a year before I started using it. Um, so I took it apart and I put new thermal paste on the south bridge and the CPU and that kind of helped and then it happened again and again and again and again so i stopped using it and i just put it on the shelf for another uh, couple months and then today i thought uh i fixed laptops in the past usually what goes wrong is either the south bridge or the north and south bridge uh, depending on the age of the laptop would uh would basically desolder itself the bga chips so i would reheat it with a heat gun so like i'd take this entire thing apart reheat the chips with the heat gun and it would fix itself or it wouldn't fix itself that would fix the problem but for this i uh, i reflowed the south bridge because it only had the south bridge and the cpu which is a combination north bridge and integrated graphics uh, but for this it was just the single south bridge uh, in the case of this laptop right here i can turn on this light in here this metal piece is just a piece of shit like um heat sink that hp thought would be good enough which it is it's good enough the south bridge doesn't emit too much heat but so like i reflowed this thing and it would still happen so uh basically i looked into that heat sink there was a bunch of i have it over here just there was a bunch of this mesh stuff i took it out um it's just regular like metal kind of mesh that's very flimsy it was covering up this vent hole this vent hole and this vent hole where the south bridge is i took that out obviously that won't really do much but what i figured out was the main issue more specifically with this brand or this uh, model of hp laptop was that the south bridge was using not direct contact between the silicon die and the heatsink it was using just a regular crappy thermal pad. The thermal pad itself was not pressed very tight. There's actually a big, like, imagine the thermal pad is this thick out of the box and it was maybe squeezing it that much. Uh, so what I thought about doing is I wrapped the, the thermal pad in aluminum foil and thermal paste. That way it would squish it down even further. And I have been running this for several hours nonstop. I did a CPU burn-in test. I was running the uh, GPU all the way up and no issues. It's, it's been running great. And this is the first time it's ever lasted this long. So I did a fresh reinstall of Linux and uh, yeah, it's, it's been working very well. This is just Exabuntu, but uh, yeah, nothing special on here, but yeah, the uh, the overheating problem has completely stopped. So uh, if you have an HP 630 and want to uh, make it work again, and it suffers from the overheating problem, uh, comment below if you need some additional instructions on how to take this thing apart and fix that CPU bridge issue. You will not need a heat gun to fix it. Um, in my case actually reflowing it did not make a difference so the main issue was the uh, thermal pad that made contact between this crappy heat sink and the south bridge chip
or north south bridge combination chip integrated graphic thing i don't know um but yeah that that totally fixed the problem on this and uh i'll see maybe in a week if it happens again if not who knows but so far it's been running extremely well for these last couple hours um so yeah if you have a question on how to take it apart or want to see a video comment below and hopefully i can do that give some more in-depth detail thanks for watching